Hello once again guys and welcome back to a brand new video and we are back once again with another episode of Let's Play WoW Series 2 and we're still leveling up our mage and as you can see now we are in Arathi Highlands here we go guys we're in a brand new area for this episode and this zone uh, really stood the test of time with me and it still uh, burns bright in my memory from the first time I played through World of Warcraft uh, yeah this zone always just kind of stood out to me I don't know why but I always enjoyed questing through here. Having said that, it has been a while since I've actually been here, so um, it's not like I can remember every quest and things like that. So it's still going to be a bit of a surprise, guys, and I'm sure that they've probably changed a few things since I was last here. I can't remember if we were here in Series 1 or not. I really, really can't remember. But if we were, it must have been for a very short time indeed. Anyway, guys, so yes, here we are in Arathi Highlands. And we've got a hand in here, and we've got a couple of quests over there to get us started. So what do you say we get started? But before we do, I must remember to um, use this thing, the uh, celebration thing. Because last episode we did, we did say that we'd uh, make use of that this time around. So there we go. So let's hand this in. And get some more XP. Okay, collect 10 bloodstone amulets from members of the syndicate. Okay, we could totally do that. Me and my trusty... Water Elemental, we could totally do that. And here's another quest. Kill 8 Boulder Fist Ogres and 10 Boulder Fist Enforcers. Okay, lots of killing today, guys. And, yep, even more. Take the heads of Kanata Debiri. Debiri? I have no idea once again. Fardel and also Marcel. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to pronounce them by their surnames. It's going to be uh, first name basis only from here on with this quest. Uh, so what do we actually get? Anything we can use? Nope. Okay, fair enough. But that is a lot of XP and there is like a um, alliance player there who just died. Oops. RIP my friend. Okay, so let's look at the map guys. Uh, yeah, so we've got a quest over there which is the Bloodstone Amulets and then there's the Ogres over there and then that quest. So it seems like we should probably do it in that order maybe. So let's mount up and we'll head on over that way and see if we can get ourselves some bloodstone amulets. And yes once again guys we've got tons and tons of backspace now thank you to uh, one of my viewers who sent that in via mail that was awesome of you to do so thank you very much for that and uh, yeah so that was a good way to start the episode guys someone dying is that him there? No that's a uh, a horde, fair enough. So let's go and get some of these bloodstone things. Oh, and I must remember that this spell, I keep forgetting that um, Ice Lance, its damage is doubled when the target's actually frozen. So when I free someone, I should probably use it then. I mean, it's a pretty awesome spell anyway, and it doesn't really matter at this level. But we'll get there, guys. We'll get there, as we always do. So, the, yeah, these are the guys that we get the uh, bloodstone amulets from. So I guess we should probably do that. Let's pull another one. Just cause. Die, god damn you, die! Thank you. Okay, there's one. We've got one, guys. And here's a path stalker. Who should be stalking no more paths after we've killed her. Come back, you. Oh my god, she actually went through that window. Did you see that, guys? Holy crap! Hacks. Total hacks. Aha, there we go. Two of ten. So it's not 100%, but hopefully it's not too bad. Because I don't want to be here forever, just uh, running around cows and stuff like that. Damn it. Come on, give me some more drops. Anything inside here? Probably not. Literally nothing except a fireplace with um, some human bones inside. So let's leave that alone. Okay, more drops please. More drops. More drops. Oh, being attacked still. Damn it, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. And we've got another drop nice, so we're almost halfway there. Oh, we've got one, guys. We've got one. Can we get another one? Yes, we can. Nice. Eight of ten. Eight of ten. We're almost there. Almost. And then we've got to ride somewhere else to kill some, like, boulder fist ogres. And then uh, we've got to go somewhere else to cut off some people's heads. So it's going to be a busy day for Pixels and Co. Nice. Just one more, guys. Just one more. Could this be the one? Please say yes. 
Nope. Damn it. Okay, so this should be it, guys. This should be it. Come on. Yes, there we go. 10 of 10. Very nice. So we can go outside now, and we can head to the next location, which is just over that way to get those uh, damn Bolifist Ogres. So let's go and do that, guys. Okay, I see the possibility of a cave up here, guys. So maybe it's going to be inside the cave? I honestly can't remember, and I don't know if this is like a new quest since I've been here. Yeah, I have no memory of this. Um, is it inside here? Probably is, because they're usually inside caves. Yeah, Balderfist Outpost. Sounds about right, guys. Sounds about right. Let's kill this dude. Okay. I mean, I'm getting quite a lot of XP per kill, guys. Yeah, the XP bar is shooting up there. Look at that. Almost there, so this next kill might be enough. It just might be. Yep, there we go. Very nice. Level 26. But, uh, if you watched the last episode, you'll know that we are going to level 27 in this video. So, we've got a little bit to go yet, guys. So, don't worry, we're not ending the episode right now. We are still going. Because we need to kill some more of these guys. And it would be pretty pointless to... Um, you know, run outside just to come back again next time around, so... Yeah, we may as well do it while we're here. Ah, so there is like a named mob. Oh, it's a rare. We've got a rare, guys. That's going to be some sweet XP. Let's kill him. Let's do it. Almost dead already. Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, look at that XP. We just got like... What's that like? Nearly 8 bars? Probably 8 bars of XP? Not bad, guys. Not bad. What do we actually get for that? We got a uh, robe that we have. We can't really use. Um, I'm sure some people would like that for transmog, though. It's pretty cool, especially like the little blue gem at the bottom there. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I suppose if you're into uh, transmog. I don't really do transmog that much. I do do it on my druid a little bit, like I wanted a... Uh, purple set, like a purple colour set, uh, because like, I watch quite a lot of history programs and in early times I think purple was like kind of a royal colour and it showed kind of wealth or something like that because uh, the colour was actually really really hard to make and so it cost a lot to actually dye uh, cloth and things like that to a purple colour. Uh, but yeah, I also just like the colour purple too. Uh, are we actually, yeah, we're still killing people here. Are there some outside? Hopefully so. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty hard to get a decent purple set uh, of leather gear for your druid. So, uh, but I got a few pieces. And it doesn't look, like, amazing or anything, but it looks okay, I guess. But it'll do. But like I say, I'm not, like, massively crazy on transmog. Although it does look pretty cool, uh, the changes that they're making for Legion, at least what I've heard. So I know a lot of people are excited about that. Okay, so I th yeah, we've killed all of these guys now. Oh well, may as well just kill this dude. Okay, so they're all dead, so we just need five more Balderfist Ogres. So they're Enforcers, so we just need the Ogres. Okay. Holy crap, I still need five more of those. Where the hell are they all hiding? I don't know. Oh, not inside here maybe? Because on the map it looks like they're mostly Enforcers inside here. I think there might be an area kind of outside of the cave. I don't know though. Let's try it. Because I don't just want to run around if there's going to be none inside here. So, let's see guys, let's see. Ah, well there's one right outside, so that bodes well. And I'm guessing like after this quest we're only going to have to do like one or two more and um, we'll pretty much be done with the level. So it's going pretty fast guys. Obviously the celebration buff does help. And obviously the heirlooms too, but still, yeah, we're getting by pretty fast, so it's okay. It's all good with me right now. Lots of cloth, very nice. Do I have professions on this character? No, I do not. I should probably pick up, like, tailoring and, um, I don't know, like, herbalism or something? I don't know. But yes, there are Balderfist Ogres over here, so it's a good idea to come out, guys. And uh, check on this area, because here they are. Just one more now. I'm getting lots of wool cloth. Awesome. 
Okay, eight of eight. So that's that quest done. So now all we have left is uh, the quest to get those three people's heads. So we're going to head over that way, do that, and then head back to uh, Galen's Fall or Galen's Fall and hand those in. And that is pretty much going to be the end of the episode, guys. So yes, we're off to uh, steal from thieves now. Okay, guys, I am back. So I just had to log off for a second. And then I logged back in and the game seemed to be playing up. Um, but it seems okay now. I've just killed a couple of raptors and um, the frame rate seems okay again. So let's continue. So we're at the place now where we're going to kill uh, these three people and it's absolutely swarming with mobs right now. So we probably should be careful here. Um, let's kill this person because they're kind of patrolling and they be could become annoying. So we'll kill them off and uh, find these three people. So one of them is over here somewhere. I believe. Okay, somewhere around here. Where is this dude? Is he not there? It says that he's here, but he's not. So I don't know where he is. Maybe someone's killed him. I don't know. Unless the map's lying to me, but it says he's in here, I think. Yeah, it says he's like here. Hmm. Okay, maybe someone has killed him. We'll just have to come back and uh, see again in a second. But I can spot one and the other. Oh, there's the person up there who's probably killed them. No doubts. Oh, God, we've pulled aggro now. Go away. Leave me alone. Yeah, there are like, literally mobs everywhere here. It's crazy. Yeah, so over there is one of the mobs that we've got to kill. Oh well, I guess we can pull this guy while uh, that mob's gone over there now. I've just wanted to use sheep for a second, but no. Won't let me. Okay, so that is Fadel down. Down for the count. So just need two more. And the other one, oh, is up there. That's where that player was going. So I'm guessing, yes, that he has in fact killed them all. Yeah. Oh, no, they're alive. Holy crap, we've pulled like mobs from everywhere here. Oh, and my, uh, yeah, I should probably use my pet thingamajig. What's it control for? Yeah, there we go. Take that, mister. Oh, disorientated. Great. Okay, so he's dead. Okay. So hopefully we can actually pull now without getting extra mobs on us. That'd be really nice. Okay, there we go. We'll kill this one because we're just going to pull aggro if we're going loot, so... Oh, and we'll pull aggro again here. So it's like aggro central right now. And uh, we can't see for the trees, but never mind. Okay, so they're all dead. And we can loot her head. There we go, one of one. So now we just need that last guy. Oh, there are mobs patrolling around there again, so he might have respawned now. Hopefully. Or we'll kill this dude. Because he's in the way regardless. Is he in there? Oh, he is in there. There he is. Hello, my friend. Okay, he's down. Down for the count, and there's his head, so that is all complete, guys. Yes, we can head back now and hand all of those in, and we're easily going to be level 27, because we're like a bar and a half away now. So let's head back, and ding. And say goodbye for the day, and the next time around we're going to have like at least a few bars of XP to work with. So maybe we'll do like a couple of levels again next time around. But yeah, let's head back now and actually hand in. I can see the hand in in the distance, guys. There we are. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, you've been awesome for doing so, and I really do appreciate it. And uh, yes, we're going to be level 27 now, so that is officially awesome. And uh, we're soon going to be level 30, and then maybe when we get to like level 30... We'll do another subscriber event where we go into a dungeon. Um, it seems like a pretty good level uh, to, do, to actually do that at. So yeah, we'll probably do that. So let's hand this in. And this will definitely get us to the next level. So let's um, get a bit better framed in the picture. There we go. And so which one's worth more? Mm, that one. Okay. Are you ready for this, guys? In three and two and one. And... 
Boom! There we go. Level 27. Can't be bad, guys. Can't be bad. And congrats to our water elemental too, because he has also leveled. So there we go. Okay, so we'll hand this one in for another nearly 5,000 XP. That's crazy. Okay, and we'll accept that and probably read that next time around. And the last turn in for the day is another 5,000 XP nearly. And we'll accept these two and read them next time around. So there we go, guys. The end of another episode, and we've just got another hand in here. Should we do, should we do that now, I guess? Let's do that now. Okay, and then we'll accept that. Okay, no problem. So there we go, guys. Thank you once again for watching. And from me and Telex, we wish you the very best day that you could possibly have. And we will be back soon with a brand new episode. So until that time, you guys take care of yourselves, behave, and bye for now.